friends, it's Akideris, and today I'm getting my fortune told in Japan for the first time. Actually, ever. I've never had my fortune told in my life because I've always believed that the stars never really cared about what kind of person I was, but I'm also not one to talk because when I was 12 years old, I read so many horoscopes in a magazine called J14, I think it was called, but it was because they had those quizzes where you could try to see if you were compatible with like Aaron Carter or Jesse McCartney. Some of you may be too young to understand that, but that's okay. But I have always lived with the thought that a man can change his stars, which is a great quote by one of my favorite movies, A Knight's Tale. A knight? You might as well try to change the stars! <laughs> can it be done, Father? Can a man change the stars? Yes, William. He believes enough a man can do anything. But one of my close friends is the exact opposite of me and wanted to take me to Harajuku to a place called Tarim, Tarim, where we got to see Mirai, who has been doing fortune telling all her life, and her English is actually very good. I think she lived in Sydney, Australia for a while, so that's why. Fun fact, Mirai means future, which is so appropriate for this. I had a few technical difficulties, so some of this looks like it was recorded on a calculator and my audio also kind of knocked out. So without further ado, let's just dive into my fortune telling. Okay, thank you so much for coming oh, today. No, thank you. Okay, um, what am I going to do is first is um, I like to explain what I could give you. I'm not giving you the what's gonna happen in your future. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna exactly give you. So that means I'm not gonna predict your future. Right. Yeah, but what I can do is I can give you some information that you can make plans mm -hmm. or also I can help you to know who you really are. The, your future and your destiny is not really set. Okay. Yeah, but of, of course your fate and where you were born or when you are born or your mother or father is something that you can't choose, right? Mm -hmm. So that is also a part of your fortune or a part of your fate or destiny, mm -hmm. whatever you call it. Maybe you already know the luckiest year this year. Mm -hmm. I'm not just saying bullshit because... <laughs> <laughs> So I really enjoyed Mirai's bluntness of her job and the, the fact that she isn't going to be contacting the dead or saying that my future is set in stone and that she's kind of getting on my level that a person can change their future. But she also wants to tell me what kind of person I am. The Jupiter, which is a lucky star, mm -hmm. is on Aquarius right now. So that means you're going to have the most luckiest year. Oh, okay. Yeah, every 12 years, you can have this experience. Mm. Yeah, but I want you to know that a lot of the challenge that you have been always wanting to do. I'm going to look this up because I had no idea that that was a thing and I thought that years were more of a Chinese zodiac thing. Oh no, it's definitely a thing. Jupiter is entering Aquarius for the first time. Cool, Jupiter. <laughs> the biggest movement is coming from March, 4th of March. Wow. And until 22nd of April. Mm. Yeah, so you can make a lot of challenges mm. and you can contact someone that you don't really know mm. like to make a new good connection as well. Anything you want to know about your job? Is there anything I'm doing wrong on my job? Uh, okay, one thing I could say is I'm not saying you are doing wrong, mm -hmm. but I think you are not really good at it making a plans right. or making priori prioritize things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because obviously you have a lot of passions yeah. and a lot of interest and you are such a challenger as well. I suck at planning. I am the worst procrastinator. Maybe it's something that everyone does on their job, but still, I think that I am literally the worst planner in the entire world. <laughs> and you are kind of, um, yeah, um, very picky. Mm -hmm. that of who you hung out with in your spare time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So obviously on your YouTube channel, basically you can make everyone happy. So you think that way <laughs> and you can sense other people's way, other people's point of view and everything. So that's why you've been so successful, obviously. Mm -hmm. But however, in your privacy, you don't really want to see people much. Yeah. yeah, but doesn't mean you don't have a friends or anything. Of course, you all have a lot of friends and you have a partner, but basically you are really good at it to doing alone. Like you are a loner mm -hmm. mm, as yeah, well. I do like my privacy a lot. Exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going sure. crazy. I do have a really hard time with people and I know that it may look like I'm very outspoken on camera, but that is because at the end of the day, 
I am the only one in this room and I am just talking to a camera. And it's still you guys, but the interaction, it, it's not there. As you guys can see in this video, I'm not really nearly as talkative as I am right now. And a lot of it is because I am processing what Mirai is telling me, but a lot of it also has to do with, well, I'm just really not good with meeting people for the first time, which I am trying to improve. It's almost like two different Akis that you're looking at right here. Even before COVID-19 problem, before the pandemic, you always good at it to distance between people and you mm. all the time. And sometimes people misunderstood, misunderstood you and sometimes people don't understand. Like people think, wow, Aki is a very cold person or Aki is very independent, but I don't know what she really thinks. What I can see from your best child is you are very, very honest. Mm. Uh, you don't want to kiss anyone's ass, basically. Right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, mm. I'm very blunt with the way I talk, and I don't. But like that's what a people loves you, though. Oh. So she is correct. I'm. I've always been very picky with the people that I put in my life, and oftentimes I also have very bad resting bitch face. But I'm really trying to work on it because I don't want anyone to take it personally that if I meet you, maybe I won't be talking much, or maybe I just look like very stern. But a lot of it is because. I don't know what to say and I'm more of a listener. But talking about last year, mm -hmm. obviously 2019 and 2020 was really hard for you. Yeah. It yeah. Was. Yeah. So this year, don't expect that hard issue at all. So don't pick up someone's issue either. Mm. Mm. So that's why the key word is prioritize. You often confuse about being self-centered mm -hmm. and also being selfish. So that's kind of a cause of the schizophrenia. Like, oh. yeah, like you're thinking, thinking too much, right? Oh, well, I had schizophrenia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can take on only your side. Don't worry about what other people think about it. And especially this year. Mm -hmm. Do you dance? Huh? Do you dance? I do. I did not know how she knew. Despite everything that she said, that I'm introverted, that I have a hard time making friends, that I like my own personal space, for some reason she still knows I love to dance. Yeah, you do that all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah when you're getting ready or when you think about what you clothes you're gonna wear or... Yeah. Did she put a hidden camera in Nook's eye? Is there anything you can tell me about how my relationship is going? Can I quickly ask your boyfriend a um, little birth? Yeah. Oh, since I have you here, do you want to just look at the section and tell me of what you think? Ah, uh, that's it. He's more worried about what his friends or family think about him. He's really good at expressing his things apart from his emotional side. He's a good at communication. He's very good at it. Like you're like a more masculine. And he's more like uh, dedicated as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He likes tomboys. And so thoughts? I mean, am I feminine? Uh, more than me. I guess so, yeah. I am a bit of a pussy sometimes. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I mean, would you say I'm more masculine? Than most girls, yeah. <laughs> How come? Because I like tomboys. Uh, that, that is true. Joey's into tomboys a lot. Yeah, I don't know why he's a, and also like this is gonna sound weird But like there was a time where I got sick in one of my videos this this video that I'll put up here And he always tells me that he thinks I sounded sexy in that video. I like girls with husky voices. Yeah <gasps> That's not husky you like it when I talk like this? No, is there anything in his life uh, that's going on that I should fix? Sometime if he do things for other people and then people might use him He's a very cautious person. You can encourage him for like his own crea creativity. So don't worry about doing things for him much. You've already done a lot and you are still doing it. Don't know how you're gonna think of this one. You think you wanna be with him for good? Like a marriage? I'd like to, yeah. Um, I'm sure um, everyone here would like to see that one day. So I still have a few, few more years before I can. About that's that. right, that's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks like a 2024 and a 2025 is good. Everyone. And that's good that for now. him too. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do just to just just to just to fuck with everything? I'm going to do it December 31st, 2023. Just to be like, ha! B, you can't say that because now it's like a surprise for me. That's to be surprised. 
If you do it, I mean. I mean, not I'm totally <laughs> not going to do that at all. Yes. All right, I have to poop. So what are my final thoughts of my fortune telling? Well, as Mirai said, I'm apparently someone that's very blunt and honest with their opinions, so I'm going to do exactly that. I think that everything that Mirai said was pretty fair about what kind of person I was. Basically, this whole thing was like really good counseling. It was nice to just talk to someone who I didn't even know to talk about some issues that I had. I get why people do this because sometimes, especially in Japan, you need someone to talk to about your problems. And it's good to just hear someone who's probably heard a thousand things, a million things their whole lives doing this for a living. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of my fortune telling. Mirai also has a YouTube channel that I'll link down below. Thank you guys so much for just bearing with me. It's been a really crazy week. I've gotten myself together for the most part. So I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!